Yo. You got the juice now, man. Okay guys, so I was able to get the background software working, the background replacement software working anyways. And as you can see, it's running here in the background. I'm using OBS to record my screen. It's a free software if you're ever interested in using it. A lot of people use it to stream and you can also record your screen with it. So as you can see the little camera right here, I am recording my screen and uh, you can see the background software. So um, in the previous version of the camera settings application, you were able to um, you were able to change your background in this Logitech app. They are no longer allowing that. So if you do update the application, you will no longer get this feature in this application. So you will have to go on to Logitech's website and if you want this feature, you'll have to download the ChromaCam app. And then once you do that, anytime that you open up uh, an application where you can use this feature, you will then get this pop-up. Now, some of, the, some of the main problems I see with this ChromaCam is it's limited to 720p. Now, this is a 4K webcam. So if you want it to be limited to 720p, you can change your background. And some of the main problems I see are my face is getting cut off, um, my hands get cut off, and overall it doesn't do the best job. So those are just my main critical points here. So I'll just go through these backgrounds and I'll just show you what they look like. <laughs> look at my arm. <laughs> my arm's gone. So I'll show you the first one, which is a, a Blizzak background. Um, actually, no. Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Wow. So that's a transparent background. So what that's going to do is that's going to merge your background with uh, whatever is in back of you. And that comes with the software. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, my hand, uh, it, if your hands uh, showed up and if I turn the chair a little bit too much, you'll be able to see the, the, the chair a little bit. If it didn't cut off my ear, this would be awesome. And then the chair pops up a little bit, but this looks good, guys. Um, it doesn't look half bad. So, like, if I was doing a live stream, I might use this. Uh, the only thing, like I said, is the 720p resolution that you're limited to, as far as I know. And uh, let's just go through a few more of these. So, if I sit up straight and I turn my head, see if it'll cut out this chair. Yeah, so if I sit up straight, let's see if I breathe the desk a little bit. Sit up straight. Sit up very straight and uh, turn in front of the camera. And it's still kind of getting a little piece of the chair, I think. So let's go to the next background. So this is the green background, and I'm still kind of having the same problem with the back of the chair here. So I'm not sure if you could optimize that at all. Uh, this is just like a lime green background. And then we have a household background. This one's pretty cool. So leaning back in the chair here, uh, it kind of takes away the problem for a second. But I don't, I don't want to be a slouch. You know, I like to sit up a little bit, raise your shoulders. Uh, so there we go. And we've got the tie-dye background. Woo-wee! And we've got this uh, blurred background here. That's a pretty cool one. So that's pretty cool. Just having uh, quite a problem with my black chair. Maybe if the chair wasn't black or maybe if I had a chair without a back, maybe it would work a little better. Like a stool. I think that would be cool. Okay, still picking up my mic. Yes, still picking up my mic. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is like a safari. Uh, then we've got this one right here. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so, and this is like uh, whatever you wanna call it. 
So I, I really do like being able to take away the background. It does not work as well as a green screen. But um, now let me show you what my normal background looks like is this and then take away the background. So, you know, this is my normal background in my office when I'm using the webcam. And now this is one of the backgrounds. So I can have this. So you guys be the judge. What do you guys like better? Um, obviously, I don't like having my face cut off or my ear cut off, but I think this is pretty cool. Now you can also keep in mind that I can change the perspective. Um, I can go up close. So it might work a little better with the up close perspective here. So yeah, that one might work better. That way it won't cut off the chair as much. So that's pretty cool. So I think, yeah, you have to kind of tailor this to the best situation for yourself. I think it's pretty damn cool, if you ask me. And uh, this is the camera settings app. Um, I've noticed that the camera will not change to widescreen when you are recording in OBS or when you're in Google Hangouts. It will only stay in standard which kind of sucks uh, because I noticed the picture is a little blurrier in standard. So I do not know what exactly is going on there, but it will not change to widescreen. But you can change the field of view. So if you're ever in an application and you want to change the field of view, you can go ahead and do that. So it seems like this, this particular field of view works the best for the background. And then we also have some filters, which this is like a blur. This is a gray. This is a white. So this this one is pretty weird. So if you, if I go to this uh, field of view here, it'll see it. You can see it kind of cuts out around me. I'm not a big fan of these ones. They look a little funny. But I guess if you want to experiment with them, it's pretty cool. See, I get, now I've got a blue background. But the problem is it's very rough around the ears and the hair. So that's the, the main problem. And then it misses the arm completely. So a green screen is probably 100 times better. But I really like this one where you can get the whole background. I think I might use this one for my recordings because now I really feel like I'm in the screen what's up guys I'm in the screen you know what I mean like I could go up there and almost press a button <laughs> I could go up there and click an icon so I think it's pretty cool guys um, for for an in webcam feature it's pretty awesome uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys back there all right peace <laughs>